I understand that you represent Respiratorius in the partnering process for an asset you call Val W1. Can you tell us first very briefly about this asset? Yes, Val W1 is an orphan drug designated asset that is phase 3 ready. The indication is diffuse large B cell lymphoma, DLBCL, and the product is a combination of two well known substances, valproic acid and prednisolone. When added to the standard ARCHOP therapy for this indication, Val001 has shown a statistically significant survival benefit in its Phase 2A trial. The use of these compounds in DLBCL has solid patent protection on top of the protection offered by the orphan drug designation per se. Can you tell us more about the company and what it is you're looking for? Yes, uh, Respiratorius is a pharmaceutical development company based in Lund of southern Sweden and listed on the Swedish Spotlight Stock Exchange. The company has development assets in the respiratory area, hence the company name, but also in the cardiovascular area. And in the oncology area, it has an orphan drug asset, Val001, that I was referring to earlier. Now, Respiratorius is a company focused on the early stage development of drugs, and as Val001 is now phase 3 ready, we're looking for a partner, a licensee or an acquirer. All else equal, we would prefer a global partner, but we would consider also deals on a regional basis. We have solid patent protection in the US, Europe and Japan, and we have orphan drug designation both for US and Europe, so we're satisfied that we have a well-protected asset that could be fast-tracked to market. That sounds exciting. Can you elaborate more on how you see the business case for Val001? Yes, uh, we know there is an incidence of 60,000 DLBCL patients per year in the US and Europe alone. We expect, given that we have shown a statistically significant survival benefit, that the product will be broadly adopted and added to the standard ARCHOP treatment regimen. That gives you an indication about the volume. The next parameter is, of course, pricing. We've run our survival benefit from the Phase 1-2A trial through the health economic model created by prominent Health Economic Institute, IHE. And this suggests a pricing opportunity in the US dollars per patient range. This is, of course, due to the tangible survival benefit. Now, this obviously translates into a significant business opportunity. I mean, 60,000 patients per year multiplied by the US dollars per patient pricing opportunity suggested by the health economic model would equal US$6 billion. Now, we realise, of course, that this is the theoretical potential given 100% market penetration and a price that fully matches health economic quality benchmarks. But even if you discount quite heavily on pricing assumptions and also apply a more modest market penetration, you will inevitably end up with a very significant turnover projection, quite possibly in the blockbuster range. Who do you think should take an interest in this opportunity? Well, that is perhaps the easiest question of all to answer. If you represent a company that is into oncology or a company that specialises in orphan drug opportunities, then I definitely think that you should take a look into this. However, I also think that the business case is attractive enough for more opportunistic industry stakeholders, companies that do not necessarily have synergies in the oncology area already, or that have not had the opportunity to launch an orphan drug project before. Also, we would not preclude soliciting the interest of a purely financial stakeholder who would be willing to back us at Respiratorias in developing this asset further and taking it to market ourselves. Given the orphan drug designation, Development would, after all, be fast-tracked, and the target group would be quite limited. That said, our primary focus is to find an industry partner.